Here we are, quick five minute stop at the services. Um, we've, we left at uh, six, it's now eight. It's taken us two hours to get here. It's definitely slower than at midnight, <laughs> whenever I drove back up, but we're making good progress. Satnav says we've got about an hour on the road, but we've probably got a little bit more than that just because of the traffic and whatnot. And by a little bit more, I do mean quite a bit more because we're gonna hit Bristol traffic now. We've got past Birmingham traffic, so we should be, we're past the worst of it. We've just got to hit Bristol traffic now, so not too bad. But I've been having a whale of a time, to be honest with you. I mean, like, I've been in, um, been listening to the radio all the way down. I've normally just put my CDs on or whatever. But in the morning, I was listening to Radio 2 with uh, Chris Evans. And it's just really, really funny. It's some really good songs. And it's really funny. I was, uh, was doing um, cheese jokes. And um, one of the... <laughs> Two was the, there was an explosion in a French cheese factory. There was debris everywhere, <laughs> and, and I literally burst out laughing. And um, what did the cheese say to itself in the mirror? <laughs> Hello, me. <laughs> Fucking uh, choice. But yeah, in other worlds though, the the motorway is actually pretty busy today. Um, obviously, it's a Monday morning. People are commuting about. People are bush, rushing about, getting all over the place. We've been on, I've been on several roads where, whenever I'm in the car, I just put my foot down on the clutch. Engine's off. It's in neutral. Why? Um, but yeah, we was... It's quite a bit of traffic, as I expected on a Monday. Um, I left at, like I say, six o'clock. I'm not expecting to be there for half past nine. Um, hopefully, to be honest with you, I might hit... It takes an hour to get from Bristol, from here to Bristol. Um, Please drive to highlighted route. Shut up, mate. Um, so... I'm assuming with the traffic, I might hit the tail end of rush hour and get there for nine o'clock, which should be too late. Josh always says that when he gets into work for nine, like traffic's fine because there's just no traffic at nine. So hopefully I hit Bristol for nine and then I can just get straight home and then I can like unpack and I'll get my car cleaned because it's probably filthy. Um, yeah. But anyway, let's get back. Let's hit the road again, boys. But why do you build me up? Don't know whether I'll leave that clip in yet, but as you can tell, I had a whale of a time driving down. Literally, like, honest, I'm not even like over oh, sure. It was the best drive ever. I've never listened to the radio all that way down. And the Chris Evans show in the morning is brilliant. <coughs> I lost signal with it with a little bit until I refound the um, radio frequency because it moves obviously as you get out of the country. But God, it was really good. I was loving it. I was, there were some really good songs on there, man. Um, otherwise, I've been back a while. Uh, I've unpacked everything. I've got halfway through that and then got bored. I then, I was going to wash my car this morning. I was like, you know what, I'm going to drive up. There's a car wash up the road. Car wash up the road and I was going to go up there and I was going to pay someone a tenner to wash my car. And I'm like, you know what, I've got a sponge and a bucket. I've got a, a washing up bowl. I'll do it. So I just did it with very liquid. <laughs> just very liquid for now. Um, it does need doing again properly, I guess. Because it's not as uh, shiny clean as I wanted it to be, but... Um, it's on my shopping list to get some proper cleaning stuff. Why should? Why would I pay someone a tenner to do it when I could do it? Like I'm sat, I was sat around bored basically, watched just Breaking Bad for no reason because I've already seen Breaking Bad. Um, <laughs> but yeah, so I sat around bored and I'm like, why don't I just? Well, I'll wash my car instead. So I washed it. Um, it's just hot water and thingy. Um, so yeah, it's nice and clean now. It looks nice and clean. It doesn't look as nice as clean as it could do, but it looks nice and clean. It looks a lot better than it did. Um, so yeah. I did that, uh, had myself some lunch, which Dad made me, made me a sandwich for the road because it's lovely. Um, yeah, half packed some stuff away and now I'm heading off to work. I'm heading off in early for half a day, like I don't need to be in until one, but I'll get there for half past twelve because uh, I'm a good boy. <laughs> I like, I like sucking up. Um, but yeah, that's good. Otherwise we just need to do, oh I've also did my daily vlog as well, so productive morning. Uh, right, we need to get to work though now. It's bloody cold. It's actually quite cold outside compared to yesterday. It was really warm yesterday. I would take driving at rush hour over driving at midday on a Monday. Blummin' heck. It's crazy. It's just like every everyone that's over 93 million years old is driving around in their cars that are like A-Regs 
like proper snot. It's like every change gear and it just goes, and just kicks out a load of smoke on you. My nice new shiny clean car. <laughs> and I'm just like, God damn, could have parked there. Should have bought a cutter. Oh well. Louis Theroux is going to complain about walking now, I bet you. But yeah, everyone just driving really, really slow. But at one point I got stuck, well, I stopped at a zebra crossing for like this school was leaving. They were like taking a load of school kids. They were like five. They were tiny. And they're all holding onto this little rope with little rings on it that they can all hold on. So it's like, it's like they're all holding each other's hands, but it's not, it's just a big rope. Oh, it's so cool. It was the cutest thing I've ever seen. <laughs> so, um, yeah, that was that. So that's good. So what's going on at work then today? Um, I'm going to be catching up with them, see what they've been doing. Otherwise, I need to refactor our proxy so that it actually takes in a different kind of data. Um, because if we allowed it to take in the data that we were like demanding, then it means that the facade also has to have contact with and knowledge of the environment behind the facade, uh, behind the proxy, which is not the point. The whole point is that the proxy covers the um the thing we're targeting uh the facade is everything else's way of contacting with that um so in theory you could say like for example like uh god i don't know refill car or fuel car you could call that and it could call any garage where you don't need to know you don't need to know what garage you're going to you don't need to know if you need to put your pin in or your card in before the petrol starts coming out and all that kind of crap so yeah that's the rules behind that basically and um, that's what we're going to be doing refactoring that i assume but it depends what they've done this morning but to be honest with you if days gone by or anything to go by they've probably just had meetings <laughs> left right and center so <sighs> but yeah let's go i was going to say that it didn't actually feel that weird to go to work halfway through the day what we feels weird is coming home again because I don't know whether it's a combination of like I went in obviously I was only at work for three and a half hours or well three and forty five um but I don't know if it's, it's that or the fact that like this morning I wasn't here <laughs> I think that's the thing that's most weird um because like I've come I'm like I could go home and like I've still got my pajamas on ready or this and you know what I mean like look I don't know it seems weird to me because essentially in my head I've gone straight from Nottingham to work how was work work was pretty good um pretty productive as well you'd be surprised how productive you can be in just that many hours um but yeah did, did really good um opened up uh, finished refactoring and polishing something um and I've opened up the web API front for it um however I haven't checked that in because it's not quite working quite a plan at the moment. Problem is that we're trying to pass in XML, but we don't want the thing we're passing XML to to turn it into an object. We want it to, just to keep it as XML. And annoyingly, <laughs> Web API, you, it automatically, by default, it just puts it into an object, which is a bastard, because we need to keep it a string. Um, but yeah, that's what I've been trying to, I'm trying to figure out a workaround for doing that that doesn't involve like silly things like make sure it's got speech marks around it and shit like that. Um, so yeah, that was my plan there. We did pretty good. Um, it seemed like in the morning everyone was just having meetings discussing how things should go. And just get it done. Just get it done. Don't know this planning malarkey. <laughs> just get on with it. Um, so yeah, the thing that they were discussing, I like the answer I assumed was the answer they went with, so good. <laughs> Always have to refactor a load of stuff. God damn, it's still frozen. Frozen solid. I've got my lamb um lamb also again. But uh I obviously froze it and I got it out this morning at like nine. So it's not defrosted and it's quite bigger than normal things that I defrost, so you have to defrost it in the microwave. But I've uh, got garlic bread to cook as well. Um but yeah that was that was it for work. Um it's actually quite good fun. <laughs> I enjoyed it. It was a good, uh, good day at work, to be honest with you. Considering it was only half a day. It's actually quite good. Yeah, I enjoy doing half days. <laughs> oh dear. Although, to be honest, before I left, I'm like, what do, I do? what do I actually do? I'm glad I didn't come back and then, like, I'm glad I've actually split my flakes today instead of having the whole day off. That would have killed me if I'd taken the whole day off. I think I'd have been just bored, silly. Um, but yeah, now I'm back cooking dinner and then I am going to be uh, writing my shopping list and stuff um i think i've got my meal plan 
I, I kind of I wrote my meal plan earlier in an attempt to do my shopping list, but I'm just like, mm, I don't know about it. So I left my shopping list until I rejigged my meal plan to figure out exactly what I want. Feels like a weird week. I feel like it's a weird list of things, but I don't know why. But yeah, then we're gonna go shopping tonight. Um, that's about it, really. Also on my to-do list of things to do is to read some stuff. We're reading some documentation of some things so that tomorrow um, I'm going to be taking my server offline. Goodbye, Mr. Server. Um, at least for the purposes that it's currently being used. I'm going to refactor it, refactor it, wipe it, start again, basically. Um, but yeah, that's the plan there. Good day. Otherwise, um, I'm pretty hungry, though. It's got to be said. I did have dinner a little bit earlier than normal. So I'm absolutely starved um, at this precise moment in time. It hurts. <laughs> I'm in pain. That's how hungry I am. So, um, yeah. Let's get cooking and get shopping, shall we? Dinner out the way and finished. Um, I am now... Getting, still, still can't be asked. Um, I'm now getting ready to go out for some um, food. More food. We're going shopping for food this time. Finished my shopping list and my meal plan and stuff. A bit of a weird one still, but YOLO it. I'm gonna make I'm gonna have grilled chicken one day. YOLO. But another news, right? I was just like having a scroll down on Facebook. I honestly don't know why I still scroll down on Facebook because it's shit. <sighs> but anyway, I've I've got a cousin slash uncle, right? Who has my scarf? Did I come in with my scarf? No, did I leave my scarf at work? No, you bastard! I left my scarf at work like an absolute moron. Oh, it's cold, man. Yeah, I've got this cousin slash uncle slash person who, uh... Is this... Hold on. Hold on. Oh, no. Yeah, who has, um... Just on a post about, like... Uh, he's a massive conspiracy theorist, essentially. Uh, but on a post to do with, um... Something. What, what was he to do with? Some kind of conspiracy theory thing. He then completely unsarcastically, oh, it was about a 9-11 one, obviously, um, unsarcastically linked a video about how the Earth's flat. You fucking idiot. <laughs> My lord. And it's like, why? <laughs> you just like, even if you even had a valid point, yeah, you're trying to back yourself up with this video. No. It doesn't matter what your point was. You could fucking say 2 plus 2 is fucking 4. I wouldn't believe you if you believe this shit. Oh, God. But it just makes me want to reply and just be like, I assume you meant that sarcastically. Oh, man. Um, but anyway. <laughs> Ran over. I am now, yeah, like I said, I'm going to go shopping and then I'm going to come back and I'm going to watch... Um, well, I'm going to read my documentation, on and then I'm going to do some blogging. I've actually signed up for um, a blogging challenge, which is you write a blog every day for a month, except every weekday for a month with like a guideline to follow kind of thing you follow like a uh, a guideline and we'll see how that goes eh <laughs> but even if i suck and i can't do it at least i have a uh a, a backlog of things because they give you like a topic you've got to follow or something or like with things you can talk about or whatever in that video in that blog and there you go there's my uh, motivations just blown out of the water I could just convert some into videos. <laughs> it's like 30 free ideas. Thank you. Yeah, I'm ramping up the product. Just got up looking for a scarf again. Oh. Um, I'm ramping up the, the my productivity, if you ever noticed. Um, recently, I've been working very, very hard to get back on the train with stuff. Um, the one thing that I'm not on the train with is main channel videos. So, uh, kicking my slipper. Slipper. Um, so, yeah. God damn it, hey, my arm still hurts from swimming. I think I've pulled it some, in some way. But like, if I do like stuff like that, it burns underneath my arm. Man. It's just this arm, just my left arm. It's like a weird, like, you know when you get like lactic acid build up? It feels like that. It just burns. Anyway, uh, lights off, computer off. We need to go to, uh, to Old St. Bruce. To go get some shopping in. I was going to get some petrol in, but I'm going to go probably get petrol on Saturday instead for the simple reason that I don't really need it yet. And I've got double next points. It runs out on Saturday, so the more I get, the more next points I get. <laughs> Not that it makes that much difference, but... Oh, well. It's raining as well. Raining outside, Dan. Uh, do I need anything that means I need to go to Asda? Or do I need anything that means it might be productive to go to Asda? 
I need car washing stuff. It's raining as well on my, on my nice clean car. <laughs> I may as well have not friggin' washed it. It's really weird how the weather's just flipped. It was really, really nice yesterday. Well, it was really, really warm in the sun, but cold in the wind, which is nice. But, yeah, otherwise, um, I can't concentrate, can I? I'm the worst. I just get like blindsided by a noise, like, whoo! Um, yeah, like yesterday, it was nice and warm. It was like my perfect kind of weather, where it's like a bit sunny, but still cold. But if you stand in it, it's okay. Or if you walk around in it, then it's just about right. Perfect. <laughs> um, hoodie weather. But well, we've got, got two bag, yeah, bags and bag. Right, cool. Let's go shopping, lad. Let's go. Uh, I can't be asked. <laughs> so much effort. Back into the routine, no? Back into productive routine. Let's get down. Just tried to leave without my radio. Oh, sorry. Where was I pointing you then? Just tried to leave without my radio. Realised I didn't have my radio. Came upstairs, picked up my radio from my bag. Because it's one of them ones that pops off. Um, and then when I opened up my bag, I realised that actually I don't even have my <laughs> wallet. So, good job. Good job, really, innit? Hey, look at that. 7111111. Isn't that cool? And terrifying to think that I've only had it for like two months <laughs> about one and a half thousand miles since i've had it so do the maths there and it's only going to increase per month as the as time goes on as we move office as i move to bath dear oh dear a lot of miles man a lot of miles i was hoping to sell this before it hit a hundred thousand i reckon it's gonna happen though i reckon i can do thirty thousand miles in a year easy especially when i move to bath let's go well just put my radio in my glove box <laughs> I hate the, I hate how I haven't got a light I can turn on without opening the doors. But it's raining, you know. Not that I'm bitter at all, but I think you'll realise that says free air and water. Fucking Tesco. <laughs> Take a note. Get a notebook out. Fucking CEO of Tesco. Tesco. I know you're watching. Ah, uh, oh, damn it. My teeth. And I saw my gum, man. <laughs> I panicked thinking they'd got rid of blood oranges then, but no, nope, they've moved them over here. That sneaky. No, they're tangerines. <laughs> no, no, no. Hmm. 44 quid. Not amazing, but uh, a tolerable amount, I think. Um, yeah, this month's been an expensive month, mainly because of petrol, to be honest with you. But I think it's something I expected, and to be honest with you, like, I've got nearly 100 quid's worth of compensation and in inverted commas coming in, so. Can't really complain too much, can I? Um, <laughs> no, I think I'm doing really well actually this month. Um, I found it's payday this week. I haven't even checked my account. I don't even know how much is in it, so I assume we're doing well. Right then, I'm back. Um, packed everything away and stuff. I got um, two sets of. Um, I bought some a different. <laughs> I bought some trout fillets because they were reduced. They're from the um, counters, like the butchers a bit. They were reduced. And I'm like, you know what, I like fish. I really, really like fish, but I never, ever cook it. Through, I like, I always seem to eat the same meals over and over again. And that's why I can't, like, I was so engrossed in trying to figure out what my meal plan was going to be. Because it was just like the same shit. <laughs> and I went there and I'm like, oh, that's a good idea. Why don't I do that? I'm going to put this away as well. God damn it. Um, why don't I do that? And I'm like, yeah, that's, that's what I'm going to do. So I've got some trout. i got some burgers as well. Um... I haven't had burgers in a long ass time, to be honest with you. Um, so yeah, that's all good. Drove back, dropped everything off, uh, put it all in the fridge and freezer, uh, made my sandwiches. And now I am watching some YouTube videos, just through, while I um, add things to my to-do list for tomorrow, and also uh, do you. I'm gonna, gonna get you rendered and get you uploaded. Um, get back into, back into routine of doing that again. <laughs> still feels weird <laughs> the fact that i've only just got back today it feels so bloody weird i'm making myself a cup of tea as well if you can't hear um but yeah that's that's the the thing that i'm doing making to-do lists doing that and then at uh, the hour i'm going to watch um louis theroux <laughs> louis theroux uh who did a documentary on bbc2 on uh the other day so i'm gonna watch that in bed while i do some blogging because i've got like three things i want to blog about so i need to do them basically we yeah, also keeping on top of um, stuff and things like 
a lot of things. I've got balancing things at the moment, balancing bloody things. Um, but I want to get up and ready, ready for tomorrow when I'm going to be doing some ops work. Yeah, operations. I love operations kind of work. Eh. It's so much fun. But yeah, full day at work tomorrow. Um, back here, and then more work in the evening. Um, we're going to be having stir fry for dinner tomorrow, I think. Because the sell-by date is not very good, isn't it? So I'm going to have to have it tomorrow. I think that's the plan. We will see. Um, so yeah, I'm going to get going. Thank you very much for watching this video, ladies and gentlemen. We've had an absolute whale of a time today. I think I've really enjoyed today's video. Um, more so than others of late. Been entertaining. For me. I hope that's mutual. <laughs> I'll catch you later.